trauma in their past. Just hard luck, loss of job. I mean, usually when you think of subsidized housing or you know housing for people in situations like this, it's basically just a roof over your head. No other place would take me because I didn't have, I, I don't have a job. I, I'm waiting on disability to come through. To actually sit here and be able to call it my house, I'm not used to it yet. The kids actually keep asking me how long were we going to be staying here. I was like, um, for a while. It's like, hopefully a couple years. I got to come see this place and it was, this place was awesome. I'm like, there's no way in God's green earth that this place is low income or is going to qualify me. There's no way because this place is beautiful. Brand spanking new still and yeah, and I get in. Everyone's doing pretty good. Not used to our own bedrooms yet because we've been used to staying in the same room and I mean e even the simplest of things like showering, I'm not worrying about trying to spend someone else's, you know, money. They do pay 30% um, of their income, whatever that may be. For some folks that's more than others. Um, but they still pay rent, they still pay their utilities um, and everything like that. It's just subsidized. Went from being consistent, normal, pretty much living your white picket fence, you know, just the average American dream to all of a sudden, what am I going to do? How am I going to provide? Where am I going to go? How am I going to make money to do this? I'm thinking I'm going to be putting like not to be mean, but like a shelter with like two beds and nothing to live in or take, you know, to be on my own. I've never had to get help before my entire life, ever. Every now and then everybody gets knocked down, completely knocked down, hit rock bottom where you have no idea where you're going to go. And I went from living your normal life, never worrying about money, never worrying about food, nothing to multiple things hit me all at once. Not everybody who is homeless chooses to be homeless. Not everybody who doesn't have a place to live is a drug addict or an alcoholic or things like that. You lose your job, you get a divorce. As far as the timeline on how long they can stay in housing, that's completely up to them. They are welcome to be here as long as they choose. Um, the hope is that they do um, kind of develop some some skills and some and be able to get back on their feet some stability and, and move forward from the program. I've been able to lay my head in one place for six months and big relief off my shoulders just to be able to yeah just not have to worry about where I'm gonna go tomorrow night. This is home and I'm building my way back up to where I can pay for it and and do things at the way and where it should be. Someone upstairs was definitely watching out over me in my kids to get this place and that's, I'm very thankful.